Now, a mass funeral for seven people killed on a Kestel farm in the Free State is currently about underway. Agriculture Minister Togo Didiza and provincial leaders are also set to attend that uh, ceremony. Farm owner uh, Alhead Smith discovered the bodies of his wife, her son and five workers. The incident sparked outrage and ignited tensions in the small town of um, uh, farming town. Now, two suspects, uh, Kamuhelo uh, Monta Montagisi and uh, Lerato Silepe, are facing at least 12 charges uh, for the killings. We've got uh, Ian Says Moloko Moloto, who is um, at those funeral proceedings this morning and joins us now. Uh, very, very sad visuals we currently have on our screen, Moloko, an emotional, emotional family today as they lay uh, their beloved family members to rest. Uh, have proceedings uh, gotten underway as yet? Good morning, Rofiwa. Indeed, a very difficult moment for the mourners, in particular for the bereaved families who really cannot stand the pain, the difficulty of having to look at the bodies of their loved ones who were killed in that brutal manner on that fateful day on Friday last week. These are the bodies as they are, the coffins carrying the bodies of the deceased as they are brought into the community hall where the funeral is currently taking place. Seven of them, Rafiwa. And as you can see, the youngsters from Retief Combined School, this is where the youngest victim of this seven, 17-year-old Rudy Binto, was as a learner at this particular school. Very difficult. Many of them overcome by emotions, understandably so, because this is the young star with a he was a young star with a promising future. His life cut short mercilessly by marauding criminals who have absolutely no respect, no regard for human life. Ironically, Rofiwa Rudy, who we were told by the school principal, um, wa had joined the first team, the first rugby team at the school, and we were told by his friend, Rea Betri, that actually Rudy wanted to become a farmer. The sad part is that he got killed at a farm along with his mother and he will certainly never get to fulfill his dream of becoming a farmer. The other five people who were killed along with Rudy and uh, his mother were farm workers. Yes, they were there to eke out a living, to raise their families, but also they were there as farm workers to ensure that the nation gets to have enough food. As you can see inside the hall, this is where the main event is taking place, Rofiwa. And there seem to be people who are really overcome by this. And uh, the paramedics are attending to them, of course. On the other side of the road, Rofiwa, there is another big maquis to accommodate some of the people who surely could not fit in this particular hall and they are able to see the proceedings as they are taking place in here because this is a small farming community people here know each other Rafiwa, and it becomes important for them to have a closure to somehow be part of this proceedings family members as you can see coming to pay their last respects the coffins are still coming into the hall and we expect that they will be buried at the same cemetery later today I see in the front the premier of the free states is in Tombella as well as the minister of Agriculture and Land Reform Togotetiza are among the mourners here. A very difficult 
time, not only for this small community of Kestel, but certainly across the country, Rofiwa. Seven people killed at the same time. And as we heard on Wednesday during a prayer session that took place here, we heard from the program director that Rudy, the 17-year-old, was the first one to be killed while the other six people were shot at a close range Rofiwa, we were told that Rudy was actually stabbed to death and we hear from our sources that the two men who allegedly killed who actually killed these people they stole some of the items and even took the vehicle belonging to Rudy's mother and we learned that actually they were arrested within 12 hours. We also heard or learned that they tried to sell the two weapons, the two guns that they stole from the farm to one man who then alerted the police. And when they got arrested, apparently their clothes were still having the blood of the victims so the police believe that they are positively linked to this mass murders we expect that the service will start anytime from now until the seven are laid to rest Rofiwa. yeah no Moloka, it's a very very sad day indeed and i mean Unfortunately, South Africa has seen mass killings of this nature for the past month or so. But in, the, um, in, in terms of Minister Togo Didiza and her presence there as one of the mourners, what are the major issues that she needs to be zoning in on as a department in the agricultural space? Clearly, this incident is raising red flags about the level of safety and security on the country's farms. Absolutely, Rofiwa, if you consider the fact that South Africa as a violent country has seen and continues to see the killing of farmers. And of course, there are some who believe that this is actually threatening even food society, food security, I beg your pardon. And there are others who believe that actually the continued killings which seem to be targeting farmers and you would remember that many of the farmers are living in secluded areas and as a result they easily become targets a lot of people believe that the killings essentially disencourage people from going into farming so we don't know whether there would be more and more people who get into this profession considering the fact that they seem to be easy target. So the minister surely will have to touch on the importance of having farmers as a country so that we can be having enough food as a nation. Because a lot of us really, we are not even part of subsistence farming. We rely entirely on the food that is produced by these farmers. Unfortunately, the seven or the five farm workers, when they left their homes on that day going to work, they did not have any idea that they were not going to return to their homes. Rofiwa, on Wednesday, a friend of Ceci, Ceci is the wife of the farmer. A friend of Ceci told the mourners here during a prayer session that Two days before they were killed, Ceci sent her a video of the 16 people who were killed in Soweto and said to her that please forward this video to your children and let us take care of ourselves because our country seems to be violent. Unbeknown to her, two days later she got killed in a brutal manner and of course as South Africans are also really surely perhaps this would require us as South Africans to reflect 
As to what exactly we will do, I guess many South Africans would throw their hands in the air and look up to the authorities from the police, not only to act speedily in arresting the assailants, but also to ensure that such crimes are stopped, are prevented before they even happen, Kofiwa. Mm.